You're listening to Side by Side with Kathy Wilson. Episode 8, Singing Our Song. Today, our class sat together with Greg and Bob and Linda as we took the opportunity to ask any questions before graduation and our return home to our regular life. Our dogs were receiving another bath because we all wanted to look our best. Members of the media would be there taking pictures and looking for stories for their next issue. Puppy raisers would experience the sweet joy and sadness of seeing the puppy they trained and loved for a year, guiding a person who couldn't see. It would be a goodbye filled with pain, but also the knowledge that they made a big difference in someone's life. My fellow students had elected me to give the valedictory address, and my mind was prepared with a bit of humor and sincere gratitude. There was only a few hours left. I had no inkling what the home fires would have waiting for me. Perhaps they would be out entirely, leaving only a few cold embers. I just didn't know. Frank asked about the problem we had with people wanting to pet our dogs while we were working with them. He hated to be rude, but sometimes people persisted. Greg underlined the need to explain about our safety depending on not permitting our dogs to become distracted. Tracy was concerned about flying home to Winnipeg and how her dog would behave on the plane. Your dog will lie at your feet and take a chance to nap. Make sure he is comfortable and relieve him before you board. Linda was smiling as she answered Tracy's query. All these trainers, how often they must have answered all of these concerns. I thought about Greg as he absently stroked Hickory's head. He had been training my sweet girl for at least eight months, and I wondered if you could ever grow accustomed to training a dog and then giving it into the care of a stranger. How does Greg do it? Time after time. I was worried about the bond. While we had worked together, the bond should have started to form. I needed assurance that I was on the right track. How long does it take before the bond is there? I felt inadequate asking this question, but I had little understanding about building a strong bond. The first idea I can recall took place when I was still an imp, as my mother used to call me. She's very independent. Kathy always demands, let me do it. I wasn't sure that this let me do it attitude was ideal where bonding was concerned. Hickory would be doing things for me that I couldn't do. It would be a challenge to accept my limitations. Work with Hickory, feed her, groom her, play with her, and the bond will come. Greg, how long will that be? It varies up to a year, but sometimes less. Just work with Hickory, and the bond will come. My friend Al, over the course of many years, had no less than eight guide dogs. He told me that the bond between a guide dog and its handler was the strongest bond because of the mutual dependency. He said the only bond comparable was that of a policeman and his dog. Sometimes the bond forms and you gradually become aware. At other times, the person is hit with it suddenly. You just never know when the bond is strong, the dog becomes an extension of your arm. You sense what your dog is feeling. This was the relationship I wanted to experience with Hickory. If it took a year, then that was fine. It would be worth it. Several of my class had family attending graduation, but those leaving by plane did not have family present. Ralph wouldn't be there either. That was okay. I had hickory. I was most relieved to have my valedictorian duties over. Hickory had stood beside me during my address and had not made any faux pas. I was proud of her. What an honor it was to meet my dog's foster family. She knew them immediately, even though she hadn't seen them in nearly a year. We all cried. This loving family had given so much to someone they didn't even know. I felt humbled. Tomorrow, Hickory and I would be traveling home to St. Catharines with Linda, the client services representative. I thought of all the new experiences my guide dog would have to deal with. 
I knew my friends would love her. No matter what, we would be together. We were on our way. There was a song ready to be sung, and we were going to sing it. <laughs>